essay sample. Who am I? This essay sample is written by editorpaper.com staff as an example of a reflective essay. It will demonstrate how to craft such an essay step by step on a simple yet popular topic. Who am I? The question of who am I seems to be the simplest question one can answer. However, when I took time to try and figure out who am I, I found this question one that requires critical thinking. A general answer to the question of who am I is that I am a simple person who loves having fun, I am dedicated to conducting my duties, and I have a dream of becoming a great person. However, this is not all, there are so many things that make me as a person. For one to be a great person in life, I believe that it is critical they ask themselves this question. It is a question that helps a person be in a position of evaluating themselves. The question of who am I can best be answered by categorizing the general characteristics of an individual's life into three divisions. The three categories are spiritual, personal traits and how I perceive life and the society around me. Regarding the spiritual division, I would consider myself as a somewhat spiritual person basing on the life that I have been nurtured through. All my life, I have been raised up by parents who are staunch Christians and have taught me the importance of leading a spiritual life. When I was young, I can describe my life to be majorly guarded by religion since what I remembered most of the time is going to church, singing gospel songs and praying. Whenever I was in trouble, I never thought of any other solution rather than to pray to God for help. I was taught in my early life that God was the solution and provider of everything that mankind ever needed and I have lived to believe this up to now. I can also attest that it's through religion that all my morals are based. However, it will be a lie if I say that I still hold spirituality dear as I used to when I was growing up and am sad to note so. As one grows and discovers many things around the world especially during teenage period, we start questioning the very ideals we were taught, and in my case, spirituality. According to my view, my high school moments changed me a lot. Though I used on the issue of divinities, I still hold spirituality dear to me, and I can confirm that I am more independent in making spiritual decisions compared to when I was young. This is due to the shifts and turns that have taken place in my life since I was young. From my religious journey, I saw it important to learn other religious views in order to be familiar with some of them. According to me, it is very wrong seeing rivalry among religions. I feel like we all have the right to worship in any dominion or religion we see best. Through my study of different religions, I have become a person who loves and always supports diversity in different sectors. Regarding my personality, I think that I am a very friendly person deducing from how I relate to my peers, children and even older people. I like being optimistic, and I like talking about positive things in life since I believe that people have the capacity to do great things as long as they believe in themselves. I am also slow in judging people on the decisions that I make. I like treating people equally since I believe everyone has the right to equal treatment. However, this does not mean that I am a very soft person. When I am wronged, I become angry, just like anyone would, and there are moments whereby I find it hard to manage my anger. Therefore, I can assert that this is the greatest challenge that I am facing and I am doing my best to learn how to make rational decisions when I am angry. I am confident, and I do not easily shy away from talking to people either individually or in a group. Generally, I can say that I am a kind person, loving and someone who always advocate for the right things to be done in the society. Lastly, on my perception about the world and the society around me, I think that I am an optimistic individual who believes that the world is a good place only that it has been destroyed by people. Therefore, it is our call as human beings to do out best and see that we make the world a better place. I believe that change starts with an individual only that many people are afraid of change. When evaluating the society, I am living in, I believe that the imperfection in the society is as a result of acts done by few individuals. A solution to the faults within the contemporary society can be overcome by teaching children to become people of integrity when they grow up. All this is me, it is what I stand for.